Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm in the beautiful Sussex town of Lewis today and we've come here to have a look at the ruins of Lewis Priory. Now this is Trinity Church, it's not actually part of the Priory, but the reason I'm starting the video here is because there is a small section of the Priory on this side of the railway. And when I say this side of the railway, you'll see what I mean. Most of it is the other side of the railway, because the railway has literally dissected the Priory. But we start here, these fragmentary walls just here, around here is, is the gatehouse. So I quite like to start a ruined abbey and priory video at the gatehouse. So there we are. That is the, it says it's the remains of the Clun Cluniac Priory. You can just see where the arch would have been. It's sort of been filled in a bit. And then that's possibly built out of some of the buildings. What we'll do, we'll quickly go round behind it as if we were going into the Priory, but then I've got to turn round, head back to the railway station to cross the road. Now this was the first Cluniac Priory in Great Britain and it was founded by monks from Clun. It's not quite Cluniac but it's coming on screen now, a town in France, that's where the monks came from. They founded the first Cluniac Priory in Britain. You can't really see much of the back of the gatehouse but we would have effectively, this would have probably been a building, you would have probably gone through there and these buildings here is Priory Terrace so imagine heading that way into the Priory. Now like I said the railway dissects the Priory which we'll get on to later. So the first Cluniac Priory in Great Britain, it was once a very very large church, supposedly larger Chichester Cathedral. I'll just let you have a look at the Trinity Church in Southover. Unfortunately that wasn't open, otherwise it would have probably gone and had a look. Lovely whole moak tree there. Now it's interesting this path takes us round here to a bit more graveyard, but I don't think we can actually get anywhere beyond here. It just sort of goes into other houses. So that's the back of Friary Terrace. See the South Downs over there. The rest of the ruins are over there. That line of trees would mark where the railway is. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to the station and we'll find our way into the Priory to see the rest of the ruins. So although this isn't planned to be a train video, that is quite obviously the railway station. You can see a class 313. They're some of the oldest EMUs in Great Britain. I might go and have a ride on one of them later, because the actual reason I've come down to Lewis today is to see some class 50s which are on a rail tour, but I've got just over an hour, so I thought I'd have a look at the priories while I wait. If you want to see the class 50s, have a look at the link on screen now. That video will be completely separate to this. Just point up over there is Lewis Castle. Again, a video for another day. I'm just making a quick stop in Lewis. So that's the railway station. You can also see a fielding platform. Again, we'll have to do a video on the, the Cuckoo Line, which ran north from here. Um, or was it the Cuckoo Line? No, it wasn't. It was the line that went up towards Uckfield. Cuckoo Line was the line from Eridge down to Polgate. I'm going to across the road. When well, I've got across the road, we're going to go down there. That will take us into the Priory Park. And that's where we should be able to go and explore the ruins of the Priory. Now, this is one of those videos where I have not seen the Priory um, before. So I am going to literally do this video as I explore it, but I've had a little look, read up about it, you can see there is some more ruins than what we've already found. I haven't even been on the railway that dissects it. I've been to, or I came on the line down from London to Lewis, I've been to Eastbourne before, been through to Hastings, I've not ever done the line from Lewis across to Brighton, and I'm not going to do it today either, it's a video for another day. So, if we come into the Priory Park, it should open out somewhere question is where. <laughs> there should be a priory, it must be around here. Um, and I think we can go up that mound. I might leave that to the end of the video. Uh, that's the bowling green through there. So I think I need to go this way around. But yeah, we should be able to go up that mound and have a look at the views. Uh, so let's have a look. Oh yeah, it now says, I can see a sign in front of me saying Priory Park. So oh, I can just see some fragments. So imagine a massive cathedral-like church there in front of us. You can probably see the South Downs all around us. So it was the Priory of St Pancras. Of course, most people think St Pancras think of um, the railway station, which was the terminus of you know the Midland Main Line. Now it's more known, well, it still is the terminus of the Midland Main Line, but it's also more known for being the Eurostar terminal. But before all of that, St Pancras, obviously a saint, and it was his Priory here in Lewis. As we walk along here, very sunny day today, nice spring sunny day. Um, it was as I came on the train, everyone was heading for Brighton, so it's quite refreshing to, I'm quite glad I'm not going to Brighton because I think it's very busy there. So when we get round this corner, we have to have a proper look around the ruins. And it's just round here. These flowers look nice growing on the walls. Whether these are little shops and kiosks, coffee kiosks maybe, they're all closed at the moment. I'm not sure. So there's a 
a park in front of us, Children's Park. See some of the ruined walls of Priory. So let's go in and see what we find. So as we walk in here now, here are the ruins of Lewis Priory. Now there's a picture here that shows us what it used to look like. So you can quite obviously see it's a fairly large building. I think we probably started up over there. So the railway must cut through here somehow. I know it cuts right through the church. So um, we'll, we'll go and have a look around, see what, see what we find. I've always enjoyed looking at ruined abbeys, so I can just see the church tower. Over. That's where it started. So I'm going to. I normally start with the ch or finish off with the church because I always think the church is one of the most impressive features. But on this occasion, I'm going to start with it because there's not a lot of it left. There's this little chapel here, so the bulk of the church would have been just over there. So let's have a look inside here. So I, I I'm not sure I'm actually in the main church. I think the main church would have been sort of there and I'm in one of what I suppose would be the South Isle possibly um, but you can see a lot of it sadly was has, has disappeared I mean it would have already been a ruin when the railway came so you can't entirely can't really blame the railway for making the Priory a ruin you see how they've marked out on the ground where the Priory would have been where the walls would have been come to here oh, so here that piece of grass there is the site of the infirmary. And there's a picture here showing you what it looked like. So let's go. I'm going to literally walk through a wall here. Um, so I'm in the infirmary now. And then the more interesting surviving fragments of the ruin are down there. So let's go and have a look around there. There's these little interpretation boards so they can tell us as we go. The railway line must be just up there. In fact, what we'll do before we do this bulk of ruins, We'll head over to there. We might get a view. I'm not going to hang around waiting to see a train, but um, we'll at least get a view of a train. Um, I mean, of getting the idea with railways. Let's well, say there's a little model of it here. That's cool. So that is what it used to be like. So it's been pretty big. I think the building we were. Oh, actually, I think looking at it building in front of us there I think it's possibly this chapel here so I think most of the church has disappeared as to where the railway is. Have a look over here though you get some nice views out over the ruins. So I'm quite excited about exploring that. So the great church so yeah we're effectively standing in this corner into the great church like many things on the light side. Now I think we'll do we'll go train there, I didn't, I said we wouldn't be for a train, but there is one, class 313. What's rather ironic, one of the oldest um, EMUs in Britain is making its way through a much, much older priory. Here's the toilet. You can see a monk sitting on the toilet, that was a drain. So down there. I remember when I was a child at Tintin Abbey, I used to like playing in the drains. I'll, I'll be small enough to disappear in one and come out somewhere else. So. Um, yeah, so the toilets would have been down there. You can just see, I think, the remains of a drain. Let's go down here, though, into the actual bulk of the ruin. Which way should we go? I'm going to go, I could go down there. I want to go through here, see what this part's like. And then we'll, we'll make our way around back to the other side. So we get to here. What's in here? You always get these fascinating little rooms and priories where you're never quite sure. Yeah, okay. Shame people leave rubbish in. That is the only problem when you get a priory or an abbey or any kind of ruin, it's freely open. Sometimes the wrong sort of people come and they leave rubbish. Ah, we're going to get onto that tower there, that's effectively a folly. So we're, we're still talking about. So this would have also been part of the monk's toilet, so I think actually that drain may have been along there, because if you have a look, this is what the building looked like. And then of course there'd have been an upstairs above us. If we go outside again, Get a bit of an elevation of it all. And have a look over here. You can see the side wall. See the buttresses sticking out. The wall really is leaning this way a bit. And I'm sure it's not going to fall over. It's pretty been like that a long time. Just see the top of Lewis Castle over there. Oh yeah, look, you know what I said about the toilet? You can just see the um, top arch of where the drain would have been. So the drain would have run along here. Probably out into the river towards the sea. So this seems to be the most um, complete part of the, the 
Priory, so we just walk through here. And then what we'll do, we'll go up towards where the railway is, we'll have a look at some other sections of the Priory. So the railway is behind that fence over there. The last time we went to a Priory, it didn't have a railway running through it. We went to Crockton Abbey in Staffordshire, that had a road running through it and I drove my car right through the middle of the Priory. If you want to see that, do have a look at the on screen now. Coming into another little room here. I'm just going to sort of explore each route, see what there is. Um, see, obviously the Priory is free, so you know if you ever do want to come visit, you can just pretty much come any time. Oh, that's some impressive ruins there. And what's through here? Oh, that's where we came down. So we're into this section of the Priory. It feels like um, sort of quite low. Whether this has been like underground again, a lot of rubbish in there, which is a shame. Um, I'm not entirely sure I'm in now because there's nothing to tell me. But obviously when it looks as though that big arch has been propped up at some point. So now what we'll do, we'll go back out here and have a look around the next section. Oh, there's a board here, this will tell us what we're looking at. Oh, so it's the dormitory. So yeah, look, we were down there above the monks would have slept upstairs. So um, I've been in the monks' dormitory a few years ago. I went and stayed, a friend of mine invited me to stay at a monastery in southern France. Now I'm not so religious, but I quite find it quite fascinating the way monasteries work. So I stayed on there. I didn't stay in a bed like that. I stayed in like the guest house, but I saw the monks' rooms and they actually are like that, like beds of straw and everything. There's a spiral staircase here. Now I don't agree with climbing on walls, but when there's actually steps that go up them, I'll go up them. So let's have a look. See where this takes us. I think it's going to go far, but we'll we'll go up the steps and have a see what's at the top. It always makes a visit to a room a bit more fun. It ends here, and it does say, you know, don't go any further, because it probably would be a bit dangerous to walk out over there. But yeah, this is as high as we've got. See the railway tracks over there. So um, what? I'll let you just hold the camera right over there, so you can see a bit further out into the ruins. I think there's not a lot more to see. We've kind of seen most of it, but there's a little bit we can see. So back down here. I wonder where this goes. There's another little room through here. Let's have a look at this one. What's this? Oh, oh so this is the refectory. Is this is where the monks would have eaten. And again, the railway cuts right through it. So if you look, that is the building. Looking that way, and the railway effectively cuts right across that corner. So, uh, yeah, it's a bit it's a shame the way the trees are. It'd be really nice to get like a picture of a train and the ruins, but I think that's going to be a bit of a, a challenge. Let's just have a look at the, the railway. There we go. There's the railway. Again, I'm not going to wait to see a train. Um, so it's quite a fascinating ruin, this. It's not a huge ruin like um, some of the other bigger priories you get. I want to go over and finish by that little tower. That's a folly. I believe the gentleman who acquired the priory he then built that little folly in the grounds. His, um, I think his name was John B Blaker. It was a name a bit like Baker, but not Baker. Anyway, it's on screen now. And he built this folly. I also understand he built a tunnel under the railway. But I don't suppose we we'll, we'll be very surprised if we get into that. So there's the bulk of the priory behind us. And this will be a good moment for a train to come along. But I'd be surprised if it does. I really want to go for this little folly because I do like follies. And it's quite a cute little building, this one. I've, I don't suppose we can go inside. I, don't, I wonder if there's like a staircase inside and get up onto the roof, possibly, but I'm not sure. So I think um, that will pretty much conclude the video. It looks like looking at the, the door, it's possibly made from fragments from the actual um, monastery itself. So here we go. And then that way it's looking back across the ruins of the Priory.
So I've come back to the other side of the Priory. You can see where we first entered the Priory, just over there. I thought we'd come back here now, it might be windy, but I really want to go up this mound because I like finishing videos in a high place. So let's just go up there and see what we can see. And to be completely honest with you, I'm not sure the connection with this in the monastery, but I do know there is one. If you know, do comment and, and tell me. Let's just ascend to the top. Providing quite a nice view of the Priory over there. And there's the bowling green in the foreground. You can see the South Downs behind. No one seems to be going up here. I did wonder if it was closed, but there's nothing to say it is, so we'll climb it. So that's sort of looking across towards Eastbourne Hastings. And, um, well, right the way down there is Seaford, where I'm going to go to this afternoon, because I've not been on that bit of track, and I'm going to see these class 50s as they about on the way. That must be the football club over there. We might get quite a nice view over the town, like I said. Oh yeah, there's the castle. I'd love to explore the town and the castle. But that's a video for another day. We should see, we might see the station. The railway's directly down there. See where that roundabout is? That's the railway. And then, yes, yeah, so you can just see the railway below us. So really, coming up here gives us a very good observation point. It might be windy. Apologies if you can't hear me. It is a good shout. But, uh, there's the Priory. See the railway line. Stretching off towards Brighton. Looking that way, towards Hastings. but if it's a quick change you've got a spare hour like I have you could go and see the Priory you don't have to pay so from the mound overlooking the Priory thank you very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe and comment goodbye